Walmart video. So if you watch my $10 follow me around Walmart challenge, then this is the haul video for that. Whoa! It is literally impossible to walk outside of Walmart, like to go in and shrimply spend $10. I really tried and I did do and complete the $10 challenge, but I also splurged on a couple of other silly items. Let's just get into the haul. First of all, I did buy that adorable little rhino and I told you guys during the follow me around that I was part of a YouTuber charity event and indeed I am and I can finally tell you guys more about it. It's through this really fun app game that I have been playing called Dragon Mania Legends and it is available for iOS, Windows, and Android phones. So if you have any of those, you will be able to play this game. They asked me a couple weeks ago if I wanted to be a part of this YouTuber charity event. So basically I have been playing this game now for two weeks and it is pretty addictive. And the awesome thing about it is that it's totally free to download and to play every single night, like as part of my decompression time, my me time, as I'm winding down and relaxing, I am always playing and looking for new games on my iPhone. And the music in this game is like super calming. There's hundreds of dragons that you can collect. So this is a charity event to benefit endangered animals. And each YouTuber is representing a different team for a different animal. And mine is, you guessed, the Rhino. So I am inserting some gameplay right now just so I can show you guys the next part because this next part is the super important part if you want to be part of Team Rhino. There is a little event tab that is in the game and if you click on that once you open the app that is how you are going to see this YouTuber event and I don't know the other YouTubers who are taking part in this but if you download the game and choose my dragon to play with that you will earn tokens for my team and at the end of the contest the team with the most tokens will have $28,000 donated to support their endangered animal. So let's make sure that that $28,000 goes to Team Rhino. If you decide you want to do it, if you're bored, it's the summertime, you're looking for a new game to try, it is totally free to download. And like I said, it is super fun. You like farm for food, you feed the dragons, you pet the dragons, and there are tons of different dragons that you can get. You just have to try it out. You gotta play it for yourself. But my other two favorite dragons right now are the dragon that, it's a dragon that looks like a bee, and there is also a wind dragon and he kind of looks like a snake. It's pretty magical. If you want to test it out, play for Team Rhino. I really hope we win. It would be so awesome to say that the Swamp family donated $28,000 to Rhinos for free. Yay. I don't know. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the recommendation. I have been enjoying it. I think it's time for more silly string. Oh, so silly. So stringy. Yes! Uh, I have a couple other brink, brink, banking, bake, breaking, bank, bank breaking items that I just found in Walmart and they were hilarious to me and I thought I could somehow work them into the budget because I don't know about you guys, but it's like if you hear that you have $5, you just think that $5 is gonna be able to buy everything that you see. I used to feel that way when I was a kid and somehow I still feel that way as an adult. So I saw Bod, do you guys remember this fragrance from the 90s? But I thought that this was kind of a throwback to our Target $10 hurl where I tried black water because now I found black fragrance body mist and I just, what can this possibly smell like? Oh, that went right up my nose. It smells really delightful, honestly. Let's have a couple more sprays for the people in the back. I don't know about you guys, but I just think, I actually just think everything in the world is unisexy, but a lot of times I like wearing men's deodorants or men's cologne because it smells uh, a lot of times more delightful than women's stuff. Do you agree? Do you agree? What did I just break? Oh, my tea, my tea. Oh, I just, I, I did just break the tea. What is wrong with me? Oh, it got all over my handbag. Oh, that's a sad, this is a sad day. Tea stains. The next 
thing that I got is kind of like a two-parter. Also, bank, breaking, brink, I cannot say it. So just keep that phrase in your mind and recall it later. This actually would have fit into the budget. It is a 97 cent flag banner and it's tie-dye, which as you guys can tell, is my second favorite color after camo. I got that and then I got these, which are magical hologram letter and number stickers. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a Swamp Family banner to show our Swamp Family pride. Why is this camera focusing on the door? Hey. Oh, that was creepy. As soon as I said that, it like, <clears throat> like shifted focus to my face. Help me. We're gonna make magic banner together. We're gonna hold hands and put letters on stuff like this. S. Yes! A beautiful banner for everyone to enjoy! Once again, not part of the $10 challenge. I'm just illustrating all the super fun stuff that you can buy at Walmart! You can't really see it too well, but I promise it's beautiful! Also, it's too wide for the door back there, so I've just creepily barricaded myself in my own room. What you gotta do about it? Next up, some really nifty child size goggles. Only 97 cents! I really just, oh, this is way too tiny. Look at the size of this string. I would argue that this is not even for a child. This is like for your pet dolphin that lives in your pool, in your backyard. Ugh, this is some of the smelliest plastic I have ever smelled in my life. I thought it was the silly string slowly burning on the lights when I sprayed it on my own lights like a real genius, but nope, it's these super smelly goggles. And I think even fully expanding the string I don't know if we're gonna make it. Oh, it just broke. Right around the bun. If you can dream it, you can achieve it. Up next, we have the largest thing of miracle bubbles I've ever seen. Only 97 cents. I feel like this is like a lifetime supply of bubbles. Look at this. This is 32 fluid ounces. This is like larger than a large, super large drink. I hope there's a bubble wand in here because I don't have one. Make a wish. Mmm, lots of bubble solution dripping on my thigh right now. It's a miracle! Next we've got a crazy straw! I think it's called a crazy wacky straw. And I got clear, because I guess I'm like a boring person. They had all kinds of different colors, but I was like, no, I want clear. The color of nothing. I probably shouldn't be sticking this in my mouth before I wash it, but YOLO. Let's try and drink. Oh, look at that. Oh, I bet there's a plastic bit in my tea. Look at that. I didn't even notice. I like broke the lid. That's disgusting. Oh, well, YOLO. Mmm, tastes plasticky. Maybe I cheated just a little bit because I did visit Walmart's clearance aisle, which if you watched yesterday's video, you already know by now is like a fantastic and sort of frightening and weird department of Walmart. That's a really weird aisle, but I did find some pretty amazing, pretty cheap stuff like Little Hedgehog's Big Day, which only cost 10 cents. I'm a spiky little hedgehog, just as happy as can be. Hello, Mr. Sun, won't you follow me? I hold tight to my red balloon. We go up, up and away. Hello, Mr. Wind, thanks for carrying us today. I ride my little sailboat over bumpy, tumbly waves. Hello, Mr. Seal, thanks for making me feel brave. Look at this adorable little hedgehog. Up next, we have another kind of cheat item, but I love this little alien. Like, where is he going? And it's also called boy canvas bag. Why do we have to associate genders to little paper plastic bags? I think that this is supposed to be for like party favor treats. You know, like if you're like nine and you're giving party favor bags to all the neighbor kids that you invite to your party, uh, then you can get boy canvas bag on clearance, 20 cents. Next, we have a green jar of Play-Doh, which surprisingly was only 88 cents. I'm just gonna enjoy smelling. I love 
the smell of Play-Doh. And I was actually watching this show the other day. I think it's Mysteries of the Museum or something like that. But did you guys know Play-Doh started out as a wallpaper cleaning device item? Oh, smell that Play-Doh. Here you go. We're opening the can together. I'm not going to keep all that delicious Play-Doh smell for myself. I'm going to let you smell some too. And of course, I got Gator Green. Get out of here. Get out of here. How does this? Mm -hmm. I didn't remember that being so difficult as a child. Ew. Look at it. Touch it. Squish it. Don't you want to touch it? Don't you want to touch it? Don't you want to touch it? Well, that's all the time we have for today. I'm just going to be sitting over here smelling my Play-Doh for the rest of the night. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you guys. Up next, we have a 125 pack of assorted wiggly eyes because think of all the nonsensical fun we're gonna have with these in days to come. I think I need eyelash glue to do this, you know? I'm gonna ruin all my beautiful makeup that took me like two hours to do. Maybe I can use my eyelashes to like, you know, balance them on my pupils. No, okay, I give up, but you will see more funny, funny, fun time with the wiggly eyes in the future. Up next is a big giant knife, which surprisingly can be purchased at Walmart for a mere 88 cents. Pretty scary, right? But welcome to America. I needed a new mail opening giant butcher knife, so I thought, why not let's get it while it fits right in our budget. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to open the Swamp Family Mail again, don't you think? I'd like to do that bi-weekly this summer. Up next is the Hot Wheels mystery car, which I showed you guys in the Follow Me Around video, and I decided to go ahead and get it because you know me, I cannot resist opening mystery things. Ew, what did we get? What did we get? I don't know. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's like the fates destined this. Look, 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 we're gonna call it an alligator. I'm sure it's supposed to be a dinosaur, but we're gonna call it an alligator. And it matches my lipstick. Life is perfect. The planets have aligned. I would seriously gladly drive a car that looked like this. It's real cool. Look at it go right off my hand. Up next, we have the dollar and 42 cent alien surprise. I'm sure that somehow fits into this budget. I found this in the bath section amongst the child's bath things. And I'm assuming that it's like a bath fizzy, you know, like lush. Um, but I would love to know what the alien surprise is in here. All right, time to drop it into the water. So this is kind of like a twofer. It's about to be like one of those lush, uh, you know, sample videos. Please ignore the state of this bowl, okay, that I'm dissolving the alien surprise in because it's my craft bowl, okay? It's dirty. It's got nail polish and other gym jams in it. You never know what you're gonna find in the bottom of the craft bowl. Oh, and there he is, adorable little fellow. And boy, was I surprised when he didn't float to the top and I had to stick my hand in there and dig around for a little bit. I would, however, like to mention that the lime smell of this bath fizzy does smell pretty incredible. Next item is this gigantic glittery birthday candle brought to you by the number four. Look, it's like we're doing a Sesame Street thing right now, right? Four, ha, 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 ha. The count was always my favorite. So let's go ahead and light this giant number four on fire with an even more gianter comedically large lighter. Why does anybody ever need a lighter this size? Maybe this is a joke and it's not supposed to work. The number four, everybody's favorite number. Or maybe not. Comment your favorite number down below. Let me know what it is. Maybe it's not the number four. I'm gonna go put this back here in an actual candle holder where it will be safe and won't kill me. We'll check back at the end of this video and see if the number four has fully melted yet or not. Up next, I got that super cute 53 cent frog dream wish catcher. And then to paint the frog, oh, we have my hair. To paint the frog, I found this 
smelly paint and I don't mean smelly is like oh that smells like paint don't smell that I mean it is a product that entices children to smell paint looking at this bottle I'm just now realizing that this is a paint dabber like for bingo or something you draw on it with poster board but look at this I almost said it's an animal it's not an animal but look at this like plant or flower what do you guys think this is gonna smell like apples tomatoes I can't think of another red fruit or food besides pizza that it's not gonna be pizza scented paint although that would be a miracle this is actually like impossible to write with it's all dried up and crusty thank you Walmart clearance aisle it smells like nothing I also got some magical wet and wild techno 90s clubber nail polish and I see you guys commenting all the time so where are the swamp family holosexual crossover members are you also a holosexual and a swamp family member I'm just gonna do a little sampling because if I were to actually paint all 10 of my digits this would be like a 30 minute long video ooh looks like the 90s you know my jam was literally like listening to the Backstreet Boys and painting my nails bright blue with like a glitter top coat that was just my thing and for one coat you guys this is actually pretty impressive Ooh, look at that thank you guys so so much for hanging out with me today and for watching if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below Subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can like me on Facebook, facebook.com slash graveyardgirl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at graveyardgirls, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all later. Bye. The number four didn't get very far before it extinguished itself, but that actually looks kind of cool. It made this green drip on the outside of my candle. I think I'm gonna light it on fire again and see if I can get it to melt some more.